Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. This is Butch Grimes, the Cooking Bachelor. Tonight, we're going to have a nice, simple dish for you cooking bachelors. It's actually one of my favorite dishes. So come on and jump in. What we're going to do is we're going to start out over here. We're going to start out with some celery. And we've got some bell peppers and some more celery and some green onions. And of course, we got some crawfish. And yes, that is butter. That is butter. And then we got some red onions and white onions over here. So we're going to mix all those together. We're going to cook it up. And, you know, of course, we got to have garlic. Garlic. Mmm. Oh, yeah, that's good. So, this we're going to start out. We're going to turn that fire. We're gonna add a little olive oil in the bottom there. Just to cover the bottom of the pot. That's about it. So we've got the olive oil. We're gonna let that warm up. Then as we let that warm up, we're gonna get ready to put our, you can see, we just want enough olive oil to uh, cover the bottom of our pan. We don't want it to. We don't want to soak it in olive oil. Then what we're going to do next, while that's getting ready, we're going to move our onions and all that in place because that's the next thing to go. And we're going to put on in that pot. So you can see it's getting ready. It's pretty it's warming up pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some we're going to add our onions. going to let those cook down. So we're going to go in and let those cook. We want those onions to be translucent. And then we also want the bell peppers to soften and the uh, also the, uh, the bell peppers and the celery to soften. So, so we're going to just let, let them do their thing. And then we're going to start adding all the stuff in. So as you can see, it's really cooking down nicely. And all we're going to keep doing is stirring it up. And we've got a nice big pot, so we're going to just keep letting this cook, letting those onions just do their thing. You know, and some people will take and put the onions in first and, and let them cook down some, but you know, I like to get them, I like to get them married right away. So, we'll do that. Now, you can see they're starting to really come together. Now, one of the things I'm going to add, I'm going to add a, about a quarter of a stick of butter in there. And that's when the maggots going to start happening. Get that good butter going. And we're just going to continue to stir it a little. We're going to let it cook, and we're going to just keep letting this cook down. So, you know, and in, in, in of course, in the, the tradition of folks that are from Louisiana, they call this the Holy Trinity. Um, and we're going to just add a little more to it. Uh, we're going to start out with this, and then we're going to move into some other ingredients. So now that's cooking down real nice. 
that's why I just keep stirring it, mixing it up. You can see the onions are starting to get it quite translucent because I don't want it to burn, but I, I do want to just get that all mixed in with really. Real good. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. So we're gonna let that just cook some more and let it do its thing. And then we're gonna move on to this next step. Stay with me. Okay, so as you can see, we, we cook this down and it's just the onions are translucent, they're just cooking down nicely. The bell peppers, all of that's marrying up real good. So we're just gonna let that continue to cook low. That's all I'm going. And we're just going to keep going and keep it moving. It's looking good. So now, we're actually going to make almost like a roux. Uh, we make gumbo in this one. So what I've done is I've added... So over here, we're just going to let this cook down. Okay? So let's go over to the on the other side, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next is kind of my little addition. Okay, so I got my little fire heated up here, and it's low. Now I'm going to add a little bit of uh, a little flour. And just a little more. And I'm going to mix that in. Just like that. Mix it up good. Stir it up. And this flour, I don't want this to be um, I don't want this to be a real dark uh, roux, but I want I want this to just kind of be a, a lighter roux. It's the more I cook it, of course. And it's chopped down a little. I'm going to cook it slow. And let it just cook out of that flour. I'm just going to keep mixing it up. You can see I'm doing a two-hander here. I'm also cooking... I'm also cooking my... Uh, I'm mixing up my... Uh, my bell peppers and stuff, too other side and that's coming out so we're just going to let that cook so we're making our little room here we're going to cook that down and we're not going to use all of this we're only going to use just a little of it because we're really not making this is not for a gumbo but just for this dish we are going to add a little of this Season in here with the garlic. I don't want to burn it. Take it off the pot. So now, this is perfect. Just like we got. This is what we wanted it to be. Look at that. It's not real dark. Perfect. So we're ready to go with this. So we're going to set this aside, and then I'm going to take you back over. Looking real good. So now that we cook this down, yeah. now we're going to start adding our other pieces to this. And what we're going to add now, we're going to add our garlic, and we've got a couple of tablespoons of garlic in here. That in there. We don't want that to burn anything. Next, we're going to add and mix that in with our vegetables. Now we're going to add our shrimp and our crawfish. Yeah, ooh, man. 
put a little water in there. I'm going to turn it up a bit. We want to get that somewhat of a boil. Mix those in. Now, what I've done is I've added just a little uh, shrimp bouillon into this before I put it in here, and it's been seasoned. It's been basically marinated. That's why you see that little orange color. We're gonna let that cook its way down. And we're gonna cook, let that cook a little. A few more things, just a couple little things. And then we're gonna let that cook. And then my little roux I made over here, as you can see, whoop, made a little roux. We're gonna add just a little of that in here to just give it that, not a gumbo taste, but more of a, uh, a little consistency. Cheers. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. So as you can see, I've added a little of my kind of of a, of a base, not so much of a roux, but just kind of a gravy in a sense, almost like a roux, into my pot. And, and that's giving it a little thickness, as you can see here, from the season. And it's, cook, it's cooking low, we got it nice and low. The shrimp are it's looking really good too. And it's cooking down. And it almost is similar to a roux, but it's not a it's not a roux. So I'm gonna let this cook some more. And you can see, look, look at the look at the uh, look at the color, look at the thickness of it. Look great. Come on up here. Look, take a look. Move it over just a bit there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that is really good. That came out even better than I anticipated. So, what I'm going to do now. Let that continue to to cook, and I got my lemon. Lemon. Mix that up a little more. Man, oh man, that is coming out great. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Oh yeah. Perfect. We're gonna let that cook. Always keep a couple of spoons ready because course. Look at that. I always keep a couple spoons ready because of course, since we like to taste test here and other people are going to also eat this, we don't want to keep double dipping the same spoon. So there we go. Look at that. Wow. That's amazing. And guess what we're gonna make next so we'll be ready for our dish. Stay tuned. Okay, 
we're all done. We're ready to go. Dish is ready, but I told you I was gonna add something to it. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna make some, we made some rice. Great rice too. So here we go. Let's get ready to test it. Gonna make a little sample. The perfect rice to go with a perfect meal. Mm. Now, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm, shrimp, crawfish, all that good stuff. It's pretty good. That's what you were talking about. And we're gonna add one little touch. Cup of green onions. Oh boy. There it is. I knew you would like it. All right. Let's give it a sample. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Came out delicious. Take a look at that. All those vegetables. For those of you haters out there that always looking for something green, you got it right there. Look at that dish. Can't get any better than that. Great dish. So for you cooking bachelors, it's a quick dish and it is healthy. because I put the green onions on. Enjoy, and uh, I will see you in our next show. Matter of fact, I think I gotta try one more. Until next time, and don't forget, look below, subscribe, subscribe, and we'll be back with you next time. Bye-bye.